Wonder class and welcome to our final English lesson of the term on Friday the 12th of February 2021. So finishing up on our non-chronological report topic, our learning objective for today's lesson is can I write our final non-chronological report? So remember everything that we have been focusing on in the last few weeks and let's compare some examples of non-chronological report so let's have a look at a non-chronological report so we've got an, a non-chronological report here about wolves so we've got the subheading a wolf um, is appearance and it's some information about wolves a wolf is a large wild dog most wolves look similar their bodies are shaped like a pet dog but bigger they have thick bushy fur wolves have fangs to help them catch their prey so in here there's an Im information about how the wolves look then you've got the habitat as another subheading where wolves live and how they adapt to their environment and another subheading which simply just says diet and then has the diet meaning the things that wolves eat um on the other side of our page we have all about pigs and look at the difference between these subheadings so we've got questions for our subheadings here what do pigs look like and then information where do pigs live um what is a pig's diet and what do pigs like to do um, and maybe a did you know box. So different ways of having your subheadings laid out makes it more visual and um, for you to read. Now, if I had to choose which one I would prefer to read, um, I would probably choose all about pigs because it looks more neater, more concise, and it's more eye-catching. Um, whereas when I look at the wolves one, it looks like a lot of information in one place, but that's okay. It's totally up to you how you choose to write your subheading so long as they connect to the text that you're writing in the paragraph underneath. So one of the things that you will be needing for today is your features. So you will need to have this um, to tick through to check that you've got these things in your non-chronological reports. So I'm just going to read them out. So you will need an introduction, factual information. You will need paragraphs, um, pro uh, proper nouns. So names, names need to have capital letters, subheadings and headings, a picture or a diagram, which is also labeled and captioned, and formal language, um, past past tense if you're writing about a person from the past who's no longer alive or present tense if you're writing about somebody who's currently alive today fact boxes or bullet points question marks um writing in third person so he was she was or they were um connectives and conjunctions to connect your sentences long sentences and short sentences so a, a, a look at looking at using both of those um, remember in your spag lesson you've looked at expanding your sentences and making your sentences more interesting by adding different pieces of words and adverbs and adjectives to your sentences so really think about that go back over your work go back over your um features go back over your information and your plans don't copy your draft up try and um really add to it so this is a really great piece of work because you've been working really really hard on this so you've actually started from Boudicca um, then to Mrs Bowen and then to your own research person so really show off your work show off your skills that you've been learning this term so let's just go over your activities for today so um, you will be able to write out your final non-chronological report and to include a drawing or illustration in your report and caption that when you've finished I'm just going to add one more thing to my um, class which I want you to do is proofread your work and check through with your checklist to make sure you've included these things in there so you should be able to say yes I do have an introduction I do have long and short sentences I've used the question mark I've got a fact, uh, a fact box I've used the diagram and I've captioned it so all of these things in your um, feature toolkit um, because it's a great skill that you guys still need to keep practicing neat handwriting and checking over your work when you have finished and um, good luck and I really look forward to seeing your work um in on tapestry so that's all from me today guys really show off your skills and really try hard bye everyone